Hello and welcome to this tutorial in the spoken tutorial series on Orca. By now, you have already experienced how Orca responds to keyboard commands. We also know that Orca gives classic audio feedback on pop-ups and dialog boxes which asks for some action to be performed. So now, let's move on to something more interesting. This time, we are going to see how we can move things around using copy, cut and paste. So let's first start Orca. Remember, we press Alt plus F2 to get to the run dialog and then enter Orca. Welcome to Orca. That's not in a desktop frame. Let's open the gedit text editor. Press Alt plus F1. Left Alt. Top expanded bench panel frame. Applications menu. To navigate, press the left or right arrows. To move through items, press the up or down arrows. As you heard Orca told us that we are in the applications menu. If you have gone through the first time with Orca tutorial, you will remember that the text editor is in the accessories sub-menu. Let's press down arrow to navigate to the accessories menu. Now, accessories menu, A. To enter a sub-menu, press the right arrow. Now to open the sub-menu, we will press the right arrow. Right, calculator, C. To activate, press space. We will keep pressing the down arrow till we navigate to the gedit text editor. Now, cd slash dvd creator, c now, character map, c now, disk usage analyzer, d now, g desk looks, g now, gedit text editor, g. Press enter to open it. Return, x nautilus desktop frame, icon new layer pane zero items. Applications menu menu. To enter a sub menu, press the right arrow. Unsaved document one, edit frame. Unsaved document one, page text. Type in text. Now, Orca tells us that we are in the text editor, and by default, we have an unsaved document. So let's begin by typing a few lines. Type I I U S E U S U V U N T U Ubuntu. G N U slash L I N U X Linux. Hit enter for the next line. Return. I use Ubuntu GNU slash Linux. O R C A Orca. I S is I N in T H E M S Y S T E M system V Y Y D E F. A U L T default. Enter for another line. Return. Orca is in the system by default. O R C A Orca I S is A A S C R E E N screen R E A D I N G reading S O F T W A R E software. That's enough for now. Let's press Ctrl plus Home and go at the top of the file. Left Ctrl Home. I use Ubuntu GNU slash Linux. Okay, so we hear Orca reading the first line. Let's read the entire document line by line. Keep pressing down arrow to go through the every line. Now, Orca is in the system by default. Now, Orca is a screen reading software. You can go up the file using the up arrow. Up. Orca is in the system by default. Up. I use Ubuntu GNU slash Linux. You may say the content seems to be a bit unorganized. For example, the last line introducing Orca should have been the first line. Well, no problem. That's exactly what we are going to do now. To move the last line at the top, we will first select and copy that line. This applies to any text which you want to move around. Instead of replicating the text, if you want to move it to another location, you will cut the text. So let's select the last line. First, we will navigate and locate the last line. Being at the top of the file, we will press down arrow two times. Now, Orca is in the system by default. Now, Orca is a screen reading software. Okay, 
Now we are at the line which introduces our cup. So how do we select it? Selecting the line implies that we go to the beginning of the line and then select it till the end. Basically, we use home key to go to the starting of a line. End key brings us to the end of the line. Yes, this is similar to the control plus home key that takes us to the beginning of the file. And if you guess that, control plus end key brings us to the end of the file. Bravo, you are right. But if we want to select text, we have to use the shift key in combination with these navigation commands. So let's press home key to go to the beginning of the last line on which we are currently focused. Now press combination of shift and end key to select the entire line. Left end. Orca screen reading software. Selected. Did you hear Orca reading the entire line? And yes, it also told us that the line is selected. In our case, we don't want to replicate the line but totally move it from this location to the top. So we will cut this line from here. And since the text has been selected, we will press Ctrl plus X to cut it. Left Ctrl X. Now let's press Ctrl plus Home to move to the top. Left Ctrl Home. I use Ubuntu GNU slash Linux. We already have one line here. So let's push it down to create blank space. Hit Enter and the line will go down. Return. Press the up arrow. Up. Blank. As you heard Orca tells us that here is a blank line. Now, to insert or put the cut text, just press Ctrl plus V. Left Ctrl V. Orca is a screen reading software. Wow! Orca reads out the line we just pasted. So now, if you read the entire document, you will see that it looks more organized. Press Ctrl plus V to go to the beginning of the file. Left Ctrl Home. Orca is a screen reading software. If you are using a desktop keyboard, just tap the numeric keypad plus to read out the entire document. Orca is a screen reading software. I use Ubuntu GNU slash Linux. Orca is in the system by default. Well, now you can hear that the document is well organized. Ah, just remember, laptop users can press caps lock plus semicolon to read the entire document. Just like Ctrl plus X for cut, we also have Ctrl plus C key combination for copying the text. Use your up arrow and copy the last line. Up. Orca is in the system by default. For this, we will first select the current line. Press Shift plus End. Left Shift End. Orca is in the system by default. Selected. Orca has told us that we have selected this line. Now press Ctrl plus C to copy the selected line. Left Ctrl C. Press Ctrl plus End to go to the bottom of the file. Left End. Blank. Unselected. You can press the Enter key to create blank space. Return. Now press Ctrl plus V to paste the copied line as we did some time back. Left Ctrl V. Orca is in the system by default. As you can hear, Orca reads the line we pasted. Now go to the top of the file using Ctrl plus Home and use the read all command as before. Left home. Orca is a screen reading software. Orca is a screen reading software. I use Ubuntu GNU slash Linux. Orca is in the system by default. Orca is in the system by default. There you see. Orca reads the last two lines which are just the same. This means that we replicated the last two lines. Ok. Now let's save this file. Press Alt plus F. Left Alt. File menu New. N. Control N. To activate press space. As you heard, Orca informed us that we are in the file menu. Keep pressing down arrow till you hear save as. Down. Open. O down. Save. S. Control S. Down. Save as. A. Shift Control S. Hit enter to open the save dialog. Return. Same as name, text, unsaved document one selected, Alt N, type in text. Now the box for saving the file has given the default name unsaved document one. Since Orca says it's selected, we can press backspace once and erase the name. Backspace, unsaved document one. 
Now type orca underscore intro and press enter. O R C A right ship orca I N D R O return orca intro tilde edit frame orca intro page text orca is in the system by default type in text. The file gets saved by default in your home folder. Okay, so let's close the text editor now. In the tutorial on first time with Orca and on pop-ups and dialogs, we have seen how we quit the text editor. So you can now press Alt plus F for the file menu again. Left Alt, File Menu New, N, Control N, to activate press space. Press the up arrow for quit option. Up, quit, Q, Control Q. Hit Enter for closing the editor. Return. X Nautilus desktop frame, icon new layer pane zero items. Let's see how we can copy the entire file from one place to another. Now open the top panel menu by pressing Alt plus F1. Left Alt, top F. Press right arrow once to go to the places menu. Right, places menu, P. The places menu is used for navigating to a certain folder such as home, document, etc. So let's press down arrow one time to locate the home folder option. Down, home folder, H, to activate press space. And press enter. Return, X Nautilus desktop frame, icon new layer pane zero items, places menu menu, to enter a sub menu, press the right arrow. SVC, file browser frame, icon new layer pane. Now we will search around the home folder for the file we just saved. You can get close to a file by typing its initial characters. So type O and then press down arrow till you hear the name of the file we just saved. So, orca cut copy dot mp3 mp3 audio icon. Tenown, orca events dot mp3 mp3 audio icon. To move to items, you down, down, O oh, text, O oh, down, down, Orca intro plain text document icon. We will press Ctrl plus C to copy the file now. Left Ctrl C. Let's press Alt plus Ctrl plus D to get to the desktop. Left Ctrl, Left Alt, X Nautilus desktop frame. Icon new layer pane zero items. Let's paste the file on the desktop. You are right. We will press Ctrl plus V to paste the file on the desktop. Left Ctrl V. So Orca tells us that the file has been pasted. So as you can see, we can copy and paste text in a file or move an entire file itself and the commands were just the same. So have fun with Orca. Goodbye.